Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ARWIN data model. In today's tutorial, we are going to see naming standards. Even the naming standard, standard is very simple topic, but if you consider the complexity of model and how it is going to present it to the business, if you consider the scenario, the naming standard becomes a vital topic. Because this model is not only used by the developers, the DBA, DB architect, but also it is used by the business analysts or the end users. So it has to be understood well by the end users as well as by the developers. So naming standard plays a important role in data modeling. So let's consider this example. In this example, we are saying the party first name is one of the attribute. It has three components, party, first, and name. These components are categorized as prime, class, and modifier. What is prime component? Prime component, it is nothing but the entity name or subject area. Consider party as an entity, then this prime component is always a entity name or subject area. The next come class. It is nothing but the classification of data. So if you got a bulk volume of data and you are just categorizing which is name, which is the date of birth, or what is the amount, or what is the ID. So these name, ID, code, amount, these fields are nothing but the class, class of the name or nothing but the classification of data that will be used to generate the reports. For example, if I want to get the report of the parties which have only names like that. The modifier component, it could be a modifier 1 or modifier 2 or additional modifiers. It gives the additional information about the prime and the class component. So you can use the either prime or the class or modifier as a name or combination of these components. So that is nothing but the naming standards. So let's go to the ARWIN tool and see the details. So in this model, this is the physical model, I will go to the logical model. In this logical model, I can say I have created a party model, have the primary key as a party ID, and column attributes are party name, party age, party date of birth, party driver's license, party ADDR1, party city, and party zip. So consider a a business analyst so if as a business analyst or the end user I can easily understand this what are the name field is nothing but it is associated with the party similarly you can create the employee table and associate such things also but for generating that in the physical data model and appropriately in the database it will definitely going to consume a lot of space because we have the additional attribute so the, we are following the standard naming convention, but it is for performance or the database activity uh, respect, it is not a good. So what I'll do, if I go to the physical, I can see this part is get appended to the all the components. For the physical data model, I no need to understand whether it's a party name or the party age, because if it is give the age, party, age, name, zip, those are already associated with the party. So whenever I create the table and if I create column name, that is meant nothing but the, it is the name of the party. So how can I achieve that uh, convention? So in order to do that, we have one tool called as a naming standard. So to go that, in order to do that, go to the tools, go to the standards, naming standards. So here you can create, let me delete this. Here you can create um, a standard file so you can give like naming standard draft or initial version or whatever you can mention and you can click on the is active because if it is active then and then only it is applicable to your model in the glossary section you can add the what are the words you are going to use in the model for example I can create one word such as party name and I will abbreviate as a name and I will consider this is a primary uh, component you can use appropriately as per your decision but right now consider it as a primary 
and similarly you can add the a number of attributes we'll close it and we'll see how it looks so you can see in the physical data model it looks like a name and in the logical it is the same party name so that's fine so how can how how I achieved this so I went to the tool go to the standard naming standard along with that you need to do one more prop, uh, change if you go to the action modeling data modeling attributes go to the naming mapping and here you have to select the use glossary if you don't use glossary even if you added the naming standard it will not apply to the model it will still show the party name so in order to active that or you know to use the standards you have to select the grocery for this entity tour table domains attribute to the column so this grocery is applicable only these three components so what are the grocery you have created that can be usable now the next thing is i i added one at one uh, means if you see i created the file and then i added the attribute but i don't want to add these attributes like uh, manually how can I automate atomize this thing so what I'll do I'll just delete this to atomize this thing you can see there is one option here is we can import these names from the CSV file so we can create a CSV file and import from there so let's create a CSV file so I already created one sample CSV file naming standard you can give any name to this file there is no restriction but thing is that you have to follow a proper convention so what this convention is this convention is nothing but uh, you have to use column as mentioned in this topic such as word words that is first column second is abbreviation third is alternate abbreviations then p m1 that is modifier 1 modifier 2 and class the definition so this should exactly match then you can define the any number of words what abbreviation you want to use and the attribute called as a x okay so this should be capital x so make sure using capital x save it and just import this file so what i'll do i will go to the my uh, tool use this input option and it is saying would you like to merge csv content into current list i will say yes and then select this file once you select this file you can see there is one more column got appended that is the your header name you we don't want this header name so what i'll do i just delete this and all other columns are i'm using so i can see the zip code i added name city and other attributes and i have made all of them as a primary component now it's closed now I can see the uh, party age is converted into age because I have abbreviated it date of birth driver's license ADDR and name but I can see the party zip it is still not converted what is the reason because if you go to the let me show you in the first logical data model in the logical data model it is party zip for the naming standard I have to check what name I have used Oh, so here if you see it's not party zip it is a party zip code so either you can change this naming convention in this glossary or alternatively you can change the logical name so in order to change the logical name you can just use the tab it will go to this tab button and change the code so if you see change it it will automatically change in the physical data model now it is converted into the zip now suppose this party I have not created a party a glossary or the party ID so I will let me create that glossary as well you can manually add that those attributes for example create party mention it small case similarly add I will add one more party ID and I will mention as a ID in a small case and close it so now I can see it. 
okay so party id it was underscore or let me go to the logic and i will check it is not underscore that is the reason it not converted it uses the logical database model so you have to appropriately use this name as per the logical database model and now it should convert in the physical now i can see the id okay so but uh, for the convention i want to use p as a capital instead of all our small case so what you can do you can go to the entity properties one second let me show you that thing model naming conventions logical and physical so you have the two options so my part is in the physical and what i want to change i want to change the part table uh, table name so here is the table what kind of option we have case is upper lower or initial so i will use initial that is p is capital other letters will be small case similarly you can change the other attributes also click on okay now i can see the party attribute has changed now suppose if you are using any domain attribute now how can i show you you can go to the logical database and in the domain i have the string suppose i if you want to use this name and if, if you want to apply the, all these changes to the domain attributes also for example let me drag this name okay so okay so it is saying the party name 2009 so 209 so how it is uh, appended because if you go to the name properties you can see for the name i have appended the owner entity and then attribute domain so that is the reason it is name is a domain and owner entity is party that is the reason the party is got appended if you want to because there are two names right that is the reason there are 209 that random number is associated so to avoid that let me create one more domain and i will do last name and i will drag that i will remove this and i will add that so now can i can see the last name the party is not appended because the property is not showing owner parent owner entity so i will add that owner entity and i will mention party sorry owner entity and use space and close it so you can see the party last name similarly you have to add the party last name in the st standardization so that last name is appropriately converted but before that let's see in the physical data model how it is looking it shows party last name so i will change that and go to the standards standard i will add one more standard that is party last name so this is physical uh, logical database name and i will use last name la or lnm last nm i will add this last name and click close so i can see the last name so by this way you can apply the standardization so that now this case the columns will be created as per the physical database model there are so many other things which i think i need to have the separate session so along with this uh, standardization there are some other attributes also i can show you here in the standardization check name in standard compliance if you click that right now i'm just selecting table columns and domains to check the naming standard compliance and start it is saying domain default has a word so that we can ignore last name has word which is not defined in the current active naming standard so last name is not appropriate it's showing let's ignore and finish so what we'll do we'll go back and check what is the last name we have mentioned so it is saying whatever you have defined the last name it is not as per the standard okay so let's do one thing let's do one more time looks like the data model was not saved 
go to the standards and do the check naming standard click start that is default is fine okay so we will so why we are getting this error or how to fix this we are going to see in the upcoming session so along with that there is one more option that i would like to also show you and that is nothing but check word order and position so whether the word order is appropriate or not that also how we can check for the compliance compliance purpose i hope this tutorial will definitely help you to create the naming standards in your data model thank you for watching my video and have a nice time